Me personally, I would tell JJ he needs to fire that trainer. Yo, what's up? So today we're gonna be reacting to KSI video which he released on his second channel. So how strong is KSI? Now I watched the video already and it have a couple things I wanna go over when reacting to the video, right? Remember as a coach or a trainer, you have specific goals to work with. So JJ training for a boxing fight. He not training to be a powerlifter, he's not training to be a bodybuilder, right? So the exercises he would be doing with weights would try to push explosive training or any sort of uh, functional training that would help him towards his goal, which would be his fight coming up, right? So just keep that in mind when we go over this video, right? So let's go. All right, so here he's going up to do his front squats. Let's see how he does it. No. Jeez. Right, so my first problem with the front squats he's doing is now I understand he's doing explosive training, so he would be trying to go down and then come out as fast as possible. But the problem with it is, even if he's still doing the training for explosiveness, he still needs to get the proper depth with the technique when going down. Now, his first few sets he did with the lower weight. It's fine, he wasn't as, sh you know, his stability was there, he wasn't shaking, he was able to handle the weight. It, the weight wasn't pulling him down instead of him controlling the weight down, right? But let's continue to see when he gets heavier. All right, so now he's on to the 140 kgs. And well, as you can see, they zoomed into his face, so I don't know how his depth is looking. I don't know if his foot is shaking, but as you can see from just the top picture or the top video they take of him, you can see his body is not stable. And you can also see the depth isn't really there because he barely going down and you can see the weight is what's pulling him down. He's not controlling the weight going down to explode out of it. He's basically letting the weight pull him down with gravity and then he's trying to fight it to go back up with explosiveness. So for me as his personal trainer or his strength and conditioning coach, whoever it is training him, I would not allow him to do that exercise with that much of weight how he did it right he i remember he has a boxing match in two weeks now i'm not saying doing this one time he'll get injured but you had to look at the risk to reward ratio when it is you're talking about training athletes if it is you have someone training the wrong way for over a specific period of time it is more likely that he could get injured now if he gets injured he would not be able to perform at his peak when it's time for his boxing fight i believe it's the 14th of january somewhere around here which is like next week so i would not promote this type of training for him so close to fight to the fight day uh, 160 kgs with front squats with not good form and it's not only just He's not getting proper depth. He's not controlling the weight down to then explode out of it. Even if he's doing half squats, right? Um, quarter squats. Now, persons do quarter squats to train the top end of the movement to get power. Now, I could understand from a boxing point of view, one thing they generate as much power from that, you know, simple quarter squat down. Like if he's ducking or bobbing or even out of punches, moving around the ring, he wants to be exploded. explosive out of that stance. But the problem is the weight is pulling him down. He's not slowly controlling the weight down to that quarter squat and then exploding out. The weight is pulling him down. You can see his knees shaking. You can see his whole body is shaking. He's not stable. And then he's trying to explode out of that position. All right, so you can see with that 160 kg as well, he had two spotters. Now the problem, now spotters are good. The problem is both of them had their hands on the bar. As a spotter, you should not have your hands on the bar. The client you have, the person who you're training, they should be able to move the weight for themselves. The only time you come in is if they get stick at a certain point or they can't continue the repetition, then you're going to assist. It's okay to frame yourself, but you should not touch the bar when they're doing the motion. As you can see, the bar was slightly one-sided. This could be, again, because 
stability wasn't there, the weight was too heavy for him, or since there's two spotters, the two different spotters may be applying two different amounts of tension to the bar to help support him while he's doing the exercise, which again could cause the bar to tilt, off balance him, and just the risk goes up as the reward goes down. Now, like I said, he's training for a boxing camp, doing PBs, PRs have no benefits for him besides giving him an ego boost, confidence, making him feel he is lifting a uh, heavy weight. But this close to his fight day, this should not be happening. You can already see he put something in between him, his chest and the bar, which already tells me he's going so when he lifts his weights up, he's just going to drop it on his chest and then use momentum to propel it back up. Which again, I would not recommend. Tight everything. Three, two, one. Up! That's your bar. Down. Work. Speed up! <laughs> yep. And then another problem. The trainer had his hands on the bar for the entire rep. Now nothing wrong with the trainer helping him lift the bar up. But then when he's at the top, before he comes down, you remove your hand. Or you keep your hands slightly away from the bar yeah and what he's supposed to do control the weight down and then when he's cut or when he touches chest, then he explodes up he should not need no pattern there between his chest and the bar that just tells me he's just dropping the weight on his chest and he's not controlling the weight down yeah so that's my review on his training i also saw he did um he uploaded a new video where he reacted to the persons commenting on his exercise now the problem with his exercise is not primarily on ksi but is his trainers his trainer should no way be putting him through that type of training so close to fight day at the end of the day he's a he's going into a boxing match he's not going to do a powerlifting meet he's not trying to just move as much weight as possible so in my opinion this is on his trainer not him if he was training and something was to happen that would have been his trainer fault. Me personally, I would tell JJ he needs to fire that trainer, get a proper PT, a personal trainer. I know he used to work with Leon Willis and I myself follow Leon Willis and he teaches a lot of good information that I, that I also use in my training. So yeah, I don't know why he's with this trainer, but JJ, you should really look at your team and have a conversation with your trainer why it is he's making you do certain movements and why it is he's allowing you to do with such heavy weights for poor form right you have to look at the risk to reward ratio and to me that was too much of a risk for the little to no return in terms of rewards right but that's just my take on it peace